So you're wanting to move your movie library over to Plex and have it run through your true NAS. Sounds simple enough? It's simple enough. I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown on how this is done, why you should do it and how it makes life much simpler depending on what hardware you run on your NAS system. So setting up Plex on TrueNAS scale is rather easy, it's a 5-10 minute setup process, I do mine a little different to what I believe you're supposed to be doing, however, this is how I am how I do it, it works for me. I do upload my movies and TV shows directly to my computer via a disk burn drive, so I can actually get them straight onto my PC, and I can drag them into the relevant folder that is needed, obviously, through my actual TrueNAS. So for me this method works the easiest just generally because I can burn them straight to my direct PC and just drag them straight across. This may not work for everybody and if people want to do it in a different method let me know and I'll see what I can make a video of and hopefully this helps people out to set it up. This may look intimidating when you first go into it if you've never worked with the apps before but I promise you it's super simple, it's a 5-10 minute process so, so let's get into it. So from here, as you see, we're back in our TrueNAS system. What I would do from here, starting off with if you want to set up a Plex server, I would go over to, to your storage. From here I would create a new storage once it loads in my pools. There we go. Uh, I know this is some help, don't worry about this. This is one, one drive that got built, pulled. But I would go and create a new uh, folder in my pool, so a new data set, and I would call this Plex. This is my personal opinion, this is just like how, like how I like to organize things. Because what I would do once that's been created in there, I would make a folder known as movies and TV shows. Because what happens is I can then add this folder here to my actual PC, I would put it in this folder here because then any movies or TV shows that I burn over from disk, I can just copy straight into here and it'll be available on my Plex server. From here, if you want to set up Plex, you would go to apps. Now it's going to load up all my apps I currently have. As you notice, I do have Plex here, but it's currently not started because it would cause issues with launching the other server that we're about to set up as well. So from here, we'd go to available applications. We do have plenty of applications here. We do have True Charts available. And if you want to know how to add that, I will drop a link for True Charts in the description. And you would go to manage cat uh, catalogs, add a catalog and put the link in there. And it will pull through all the applications available through True, True Charts. So from here, I'm just gonna actually gonna go through the standard Plex installation here from the normal chart system. There is a lot more with True Charts available, but that's not what we're gonna go through today. Mainly because it's just generally easy for me to go through this because this is the process I went through. So we would select Plex, you press install, you would give it a name just for this, I'm just going to call it tutorial. Select a version, I do believe 1.7.2 is the latest and I think that's the one we have available. Then we press next. It does take a while for this to go through sometimes, so oops, I missed Plex configuration. So from here you want to put the Clips Claim token in. Now to get this, it's quite simple, you would log into Plex.tv and then go to the webpage which is Plex.tv forward slash claim. From that you would see a claim code, you would copy that to clipboard, go back to your applications and paste the claim um, claim token in here. So what that means is it knows it's linked into your account, so when you go through and set this all up, it will bring it straight through into your actual system. Now I don't mess with the environments, but I do go in here and change the uh, zone through to Europe, London, obviously being that I'm in England, then we go over to your networking, so you do have available network in here, so as you can see, it's for, uh, 32400, that's the port that's exposed to Plex. You can do some port forwarding if you want to access this outside of your actual home network. Next we'll go to the storage. Now in here, what you want to do is you want to select the host path for your data volumes and your configuration volumes. So what I did here, I would select this, I would go to the actual mount Plex server. In the server, I would go to Plex and then press and the same with the host pass for Plex configuration volumes, I did the exact same thing. So I would go here, server, and Plex. Now I didn't need any extra volumes or anything like that, and I didn't do any transcoding uh, volumes either. Next we'll press next, then it's going to ask us for scaling an upgrade policy. I always leave mine at kill exceeded pods before creating new ones, and just press next. Now if you do for GPU within your TrueNAS, system you can allocate it here so it can do some gpu encoding to help obviously that through with your videos if you do want to set up any dns again you can set that up here but you don't need to and finally it's just for them to settings to save so give that a second and it's going to go through and we'll set up a true NAS. once that's being done it's going to start doing something called deploying which essentially means going through the process of setting that up so if i just go to install here as you can see it is deploying and that's going to set it up so we can launch what's known as a web portal and a web portal will give us access to plex as if it's on our computer it does it through the web page so we can actually get that sorted so i'll give you a couple of minutes before that gets done 
So as you can see now, the Plex is now active. So if I press web portal here, it's going to pull me straight through to my Plex account. I select the relevant person, so that'll be myself. And it brings everything through. So Tutorial Plex has already worked out where all our films are and where all our TV shows are because we gave it the directory. Now, if it doesn't pull this through, what you can do is go to the dot. If you let me do it, go to the dot 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 manage library and edit. So from here, go to add folder and it knows the folders are in the config and TV shows. If you do find out it's not there, press browse media for files and look, locate where your actual files are. So here they are exactly where we told them to be. So it knows to go to this information to pull this file through and it pulls through all the movies that I have available here. And that's it. That's uh, that's Plex all set up. Now, obviously, all my screens are generally blurred right now, mainly because obviously I've got videos and stuff in here. Um, some of my personal videos and whatnot that I've also uploaded to this library, so I don't want to be showing all them off. But if we go to play a movie, it will launch it here, no problem. And that's generally it. That's all there is to it. That's Plex all set up now. So whenever you want to view your Plex server, if you go back to here, you just go to your web portal, it will be there. If you go to Plex.tv, it will also be there. If you have Plex installed in your Xbox, PlayStation, Fire Stick, whatever it is that you have, it will show up there, no problem. If there are any problems, drop me a comment below and we'll help you best you can. Um, with this, there's generally nothing else left to that. That's generally how fast and easy that is. Only thing you've got to remember is to set up a folder in your pool to get that done. If you don't know how to set up a pool or set up thing, or you're completely new like I was, drop a comment below and I will help anywhere I can. If you want any of these apps viewing or want to know what any of these apps do, again, drop a comment and I will help where I can. Well, okay, thanks guys for watching and I hope you all have a good day.